Friends, in this video for I Thought Advisor, I'm going to talk to you on the topic, investing into market rotation. Clearly, you're seeing a rotation trade happening in the markets. We are seeing sectors which underperformed or parts of the market which did not participate participating now. We saw the defense trade. Then we are seeing the public sector banks participating. We are seeing a lot of investor participation moving into parts of the market which did not participate earlier. We are even seeing some early signs of people showing interest in metals much to the surprise of market watchers. As the market rotates, what we observe happening is that people are trying to get more exposure into parts of the market which never participated in the market rallies of the recent times in the hope that in the coming year those parts would participate more actively and by investing in them now we would be able to capture where the market is performing in the real sense of the term people are trying to capture future performance by participating early whenever rotation happens in the market expensive parts of the market get sold or overowned parts of the market get sold and underowned and relatively cheaper parts of the market get invested into this is typically how money moves from growth stocks into value stocks but unless these value stocks show growth or the promise of growth they are never going to be valued like growth stocks so if these value stocks actually deliver better growth and show better performance then you could see a sustained rally in these stocks like we saw in itc the perception will also change and if that happens more participation will come the stocks can get re-rated and then you would get the full benefit of participating in a market's rotation trade on the other hand if the stock's performance on the growth front is muted then it's unlikely that the market will be able to sustain a rally in those stocks participation will cause a bump up in valuations but then that will get sold into now what is going to happen in the psu trade or in the defense stocks or in the railway stocks or in the public banks trade remains to be seen but as of now the valuations seem to be attracting more capital and probably serious capital is moving from overvalued stocks into these stocks time will tell and the performance of these companies should guide whether these companies merit a higher valuation so as of now it's still an aspirational trade but people want to participate in the market's rotation trade and they are looking for more opportunities to participate in next year's winners at this year's valuations it's quite likely that people will pick more beaten parts of the market and that hope is also visible in the small caps in the mid caps which have not participated and overall people are trying to find winners of tomorrow some of these are even from the beaten down ipo stocks so there is hope all around which is typical of the year end mood of the market and everybody hopes that the stocks which they buy in December will become more favored in the next financial year. As advisors, it is important that we don't chase trends but invest on conviction. It's important that the sectoral rotation should sustain to deliver sustained returns for the investors. Otherwise, we'll only see valuations go up and go down. So, an advisor's responsibility is to keep investors safe during this period, to tell them what risks are there in chasing fads and to guide them to invest money in companies which will deliver growth. So that is what is going to make the difference and deliver advisory alpha going forward. And that is the responsibility of every one of us to our clients. Thank you for watching this video.